previously on Brick Attack. Right now I'm just turning off the lights so you guys can see what I was working on. Here we go. <laughs> the Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall, decorated for Halloween. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a product to share with you that I hope is pretty cool. It's actually a non-LEGO product that I bought on Amazon, but something that I've been wanting to experiment with. This product that you see in front of here is an SCS Direct brand Light Up Multicolor Bricks. These are essentially light bricks in here. They're tight fitting with LEGO, of course, but they aren't LEGO. They're 40 light up two by three building bricks, eight different kinds. They're fully dimmable. They have an on off switch. They contain five green, five white, five blue, five pink, five red, five yellow, five red, blue, and five all colors, which I'm not really sure what that means. I guess maybe they switch between the colors. I have no idea, but in total 40 of these things in here, this is what they look like. I have no idea how good these are. The reviews were pretty decent, but I do have to tell you guys, these things are a little expensive for 40 of these, which is a pack. This is $24.99, so a little pricey. And I thought if this is something that you want to experiment with too, I can make a video on this and show you what these things are like. And we'll give them a shot here in this video. So let's open them up. I don't typically buy non-Lego products, but in this case, this seemed like the best situation for me just because I tried finding Lego light up bricks and they're kind of expensive and not easy to find. I feel like we could try these out and see how it goes. Let me get a shot of these for you so you can see what they look like. Just looks like a normal Lego brick, I suppose, with a little bit of technology inside of it. And I believe this is what you use for a switch. Again, I've never done this before, but holy cow, we've got one of the multis here. <laughs> Lights up pretty good. So if you turn that to the right, it turns on and then it turns off. Very simple and you could extend that out if you have something that you're building here that is like crazy deep inside something, you can just put a long Technic pin inside there, or whatever, and it should work. That is pretty wild on that one. That was a good first choice. Let's see what else we got here. Let's try this one out. It's like luck of the draw. We got a blue. Oh, it stays on too. Wow, okay. That's kind of interesting. So you can take the pin back out, but it's never gonna turn off. So if you take that back out, you can turn it on. And just like that. Try to get through all the colors with you. That's the white. There is a red blue. So if you're trying to make a police vehicle or something, throw one of these on the top. It's gonna look pretty crazy having something that big on maybe what is a city vehicle, but you know, it works. And what do we got here? This one's a little sketchy here, trying to get this just right to make it work. Wow, okay. So there's a maybe a symbol of the quality here. That's not good. Sometimes when you buy non-Lego products, you get non-Lego product quality, and that one is a little, little bad. Let me try some more of these. Four more reds in here, so not a big deal. We got another multi. Went in the multi lottery here. What do we got here? Another white. Yeah, another blue. I will find you guys some other colors here, I promise. This one here is the yellow. Green, finally. Oh, that looks good. That one's bright. What other colors didn't we see? We saw green, white, blue. Where's the pink? This is it. This is the last one, I believe. We've got pink. Pretty good quality, it seems. There was that one that I tried. Of course, I didn't try them all, but there was that one that I tried that was having problems there, but tried all the other ones. No issues there. Let's see how these stick on to each other. That feels pretty good. I mean, at least sticking to each other. Do I have anything Lego over here that I could stick this to? This is actually my main reason that I bought this. I'm going to be powering up the Hogwarts Great Hall. Let's just take one of these and see how it goes. The moment of truth. Dude, that is nice. That's not bad at all. Sometimes when you get these non-Lego products again, not only is the quality kind of bad, but the fit's kind of bad. That fits on there good. Wow. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now that we went through all the colors and the fit's good, well, I'm gonna turn the lights off here in the studio and turn a bunch of these on for you so you can see what they look like in the dark. All right, welcome to the darkness. Let's start firing some of these up. Here's the pink one. Look how good that looks. I like it. Some of these are gonna be the same because this is the pile that I went through. We got the blue. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You wanna talk about brightness? That's crazy. All right, let's leave that one on. Watch me get another blue here. Oh no, we got the orange. Wow. That multi is gonna look great. Another blue, son of a biscuit. Give me a red. No, we got the white. Oh wow. I'm getting a little too excited about this, I think, guys. Look at that. I can actually see what I'm doing now. It's just the multi. The multi, I don't think, lights up as bright as what the other ones do, I guess, because it's switching all the time. But it's doing some crazy stuff there. There's the green. Green looking good. I have a red here somewhere. I know it. There's another blue. Where'd the red one go? Oh, the red one was the crappy one, wasn't it? That was the one that we had problems with. Let's start going through these until we find a red, I guess. Look at the light show down below there, guys. Green. This one seems a little sketchy, too. 
Ooh, okay. There we go. What do I have to do to find a red one in here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I spoke too soon on the quality here, guys. This one's not turning on. I've had a couple now that have had issues. $25 for 40 of these. You really can't afford for too many of them to be bad. There we go, finally. I almost gave up hope. There's the red. Let's put that down here. Wow. That only took forever, but man, look how that looks. Is that not awesome? We've got the pink, we've got the blue, we've got the orange, we've got the white, we've got the multi, we've got the green, we've got the red. Look at that green though. That green is really super bright in there. They all look pretty good. I'll use this as my flashlight. I've had like two or three that have had problems and I haven't gone through these ones yet, but these ones are all good. So I guess my final opinion on this is that they are a go. If you're willing to spend the $25 on them, you might have a few duds that are in the mix, but they do look really good. And I think they're gonna accomplish what I'm trying to do, which is to light up my Harry Potter set and maybe some other stuff as well. And it's nice to have these on backup. So we got SCS Direct, light up multicolor bricks, gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna pick these up. They look pretty good and I guess a good alternative if you don't have any Lego light up bricks at your place, or if you want just a ton of cool colors, this is where you got them. One last thing before I end the video, I just wanted to make one correction from the last video. I forgot to include the red and blue one at the very end. So there's what that looks like in the dark. And I also wanted to update you on the defective ones. After going through all 40 of these, there were a total of four that were defective. So about 10% of these I had an issue with. So that may be something to consider if you're thinking about buying these, but all of the other 36 ones work just fine. And as you saw in the beginning of this video, I had no issues yesterday with powering up my Hogwarts Great Hall, it actually looked really great. And I'm excited to use these in the future for other things. So again, if you're okay with maybe a few of them not working, I think they do look really good. And for the price, they're actually not too bad. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to the very end here. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll definitely be seeing you in the next one.